Let's go. Yeah, because right now, oh, I'm damaged. I am damaged. Oh. There's a save point. I'll start for the long pause. Um, I was distracted by a YouTube notification on my iPhone that also uses the uh, stopwatch function. Oh my. This is all getting blissfulness. All these dark dang colors. The black and white sceneries of each Venice rooftops. <sighs> this is a long hallway, I gotta say for sure. Okay. Ascor has been hinted all over the fucking game. Ever since the beginning of Undertale. And to finally see him? This is like the first time we met Toriel. Another safe one, really? New home. This way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Okay. Over this flower looking thing. It's a golden flower. That's awfully a lot of yellow flowers for some reason. Doesn't that remind you of a. Uh... Really? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Well, there's one key. You took the key and put it to your phone's keychain. Is there anything in the trash can? It's full of crumpled up recipes for a butterscotch pie. To note. Howdy! Help yourself to anything you want. It's a fridge full of unopened containers of snails. You're making me feel guilty that I accidentally killed her! Uh. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay. More yellow daisies? What the fuck is up with the- It's golden flowers. Oh, presents, hello. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Sure. Heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger in the box. Best friends forever. Oh, that's cute. Let me see if I can wear it. I can like sell these things somehow. I can't like equip a fucking pan and a shoes at the same time, so that's kind of weird. It's a family photograph. Everyone's smiling. Yeah, this song is just so, feels so inspirational too. Room under renovations. Man, there's a key here. Over time, Azrael and the humans became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Trophy. Hey, hello. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs, 98. Hmm. Is it gonna loop back or is. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like some sort of sitcom song or something. You want to the chains? Kind of worried about going downstairs now, though. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. Date is circled on it. <laughs> then, one day, the human became very ill. Seems like it's constantly telling me a story every time I go forward. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The 
next day... The next day... Dot dot dot... The human died. So it tells us more backstory on the... World of... Undertale... Azrael... Racked with grief absorbed the human soul. He transforms into a being with incredible power. We can see why there's so much grief within the underworld with monsters, why they can't escape the, to the real world. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. And this also tells the backstory as well of Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers and carried the human onto it. God, being all symbolical or shit. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Well, that's why the monsters and humans had disagreements here. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clenching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The knights, oh fuck, sorry, the king and queen had lost two children one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Again, showing the prejudice of what happened to the humans and monsters. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. Will give us hope. Will save us all. They really have faith in this Asgore fella, huh? You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I don't know, it's a very melancholy feeling. Having these dialogues with these... I wouldn't say monsters. They're going to be free. God, that music has not been timed any perfectly than already. This is it, guys. Out of all the lamenting situations here, we're finally gonna be home after this episode. Stay tuned.